Once again, hello, Craig Bowler Jack making a stop in Payson, Utah. We're gonna introduce you to another great blue collar hero. His name is Chase Steele, and he'll introduce us to census water meters. Now, what do they do? They help detect water leaks and helps also to conserve our water in the state of Utah. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my Catch me howling at the moon Still, I've worked for Payson City for a year. So on this project, they're installing meters on the PI system and new stopping wastes. And they're gonna make it so that we can track it and bill it and get better revenue for it. It will help control some of the usage a little bit. And then also it'll help with the revenue to do improvements and to make things better. So the meter is a census iPearl. Uh, we already have the infrastructure in place so that nothing had to change. It just works with the current system that we have. The current installation on a lot of the homes is older ball valves, older stuff that a lot of it could be broken or damaged. So we're going out, we're putting new ways to, for them to shut off, a new way for us to shut off with the stopping wastes improving on what's already there. There's already two boxes in their yard. The census meters are able to detect leaks. If someone has an issue billing, their bill's sky high, we can go out and test this and see if it's something that's leaking, always running water, or for the month's bill, you can go back and see if something went way higher than what their normal should have been. You'll be able to see it on this now. So the stop and waste for winterize, winterization purposes, they can drain the water out of their system here. We have ours on the city side and then they have theirs on the homeowner side so that when they shut their system off for the winter, it'll drain the water, help them winterize their system a lot easier. And they read in one gallon increments and we're just hoping they'll be a lot better set up and it should help with conservation of water. We already have the infrastructure with census for the culinary to where they automatically read through a tower system and yeah this will help with some of the workload to where we're not having to go do that manually every single meter everything in town so people probably don't realize how much work goes into getting their water to their house whether it be for their irrigation or for their culinary for their drinking water so there's a lot more that goes into it than what most of the public sees. So if we're out there digging and messing up their yard, they just see that. But we're out there trying to keep the water to their house so that they can shower and have clean drinking water and water their lawns. Previous to the census meters, we had other brands, other styles of meters that there wasn't a way to communicate like these do with the office. So if there was a leak, you wouldn't know until the next billing cycle for the homeowner where these can detect a leak in a lot smaller amount and we can get out there and try to figure out what's going on a lot quicker. A big thanks to Chase for showing us census water meters and how it saves and conserves water in the great state of Utah. We'll see you next time on We See You.